Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to CSCpedia. So today we're going to discuss about the most important concept, role of a lexical analyzer. So this compiler design syllabus is divided into six phases. So we'll, uh, we'll study about lexical analysis totally. Next syntax analysis, how parsers are constructed and uh, semantic analysis, what is syntax directed translation, uh, how intermediate code is generated and how code is optimized, what are the techniques we follow to optimize our code and finally and how your code is generated. So along with that, uh, how every symbol is stored in symbol table management and what is the use of or what is the functionality of error handler and error detector. So all these comprises your compiler design syllabus. So in that the first and major most, uh, first most thing is your lexical analysis. We'll see what is the role of a lexical analyzer. So um, basically we discussed in lexical analysis phase, right? So what is lexical analysis phase? So we have a source input. So lexical analysis phase is nothing but scanning. So we have a source input. That source input should be divided into group of strings. And we call those group of strings as tokens, right? So what is my input string and how I should divide the group of uh, strings into tokens. So before that, first parser, uh, parser should check whether any tokens are generated by lexical analyzer or not. So the pain should be taken by parser first. See, if you see the diagram here, I have a lexical analyzer I have a parser and the rest of compiler. So I'm not talking about the rest of compiler or different phases. My main focus or my main agenda is on lexical analyzer. So I have an input string, right? So first parser will always checks whether there are any tokens or not, whether the tokens are generated by lexical analyzer. So if you see the diagram, let's come from back to front. So I have a parser here. What does parser do? Parser always demands tokens from lexical analyzer. So if you see the arrow mark here, parser will always demand tokens from lexical analyzer. So now what does lexical analyzer do? Lexical analyzer can't do anything if it doesn't have any string with it. You should have an input string with it, right? So lexical analyzer will check whether there is any input string or not. So it has an input string. Now. It's, it already got a request from parser stating that are there any tokens or not. Okay. Once it divides the input string into tokens, what does lexical analyzer do? Lexical analyzer will return the tokens which is requested by parser. Next. Once parser receives a group of tokens, what does it do? The main job of parser is to construct a path tree or a syntax tree, right? So I get a syntax tree. So rest is, we don't care about the rest. Why? Because it's rest of compiler. And end of the day, we get target code. That's secondary. So my main role is how your lexical analyzer will function. So lexical analyzer will always get a request from parser stating that are there any demand of tokens or not? If there are any tokens or if there is any input string, your lexical analyzer will divide that input string into group of tokens and return those tokens to parser. And a syntax tree is generated. So that is rest of compiler, right? So it's the main job of lexical analyzer. Now we'll see the functions of lexical analyzer. So what are the different functions of lexical analyzer? See, uh, what are the functions of lexical analyzer here? First, it produces stream of tokens, which we already know. So getting an input string and dividing that input string into group of tokens. Second, it eliminates blanks and comments. So uh, while discussing lexical analysis, I already said this point. Each and every input string is divided into tokens except blanks and comments. Those two are eliminated completely. Uh, pre uh, previously we discussed an example, right? Uh, C equal to A plus B into 5. Uh, C is an identifier. Uh, equal to assignment symbol a identifier plus plus sign b identifier star multiplication sign pi is a number so if at all we have or we get any blanks or spaces what happens lexical analyzer will remove completely those blank spaces or uh, comments and third one 
it generates symbol table. This is the most important uh, point to be discussed. So, your symbol, uh, if you see the phases, so each and a symbol table is present in each and every phase, right? So everything will be stored in symbol table management. So who is going to initiate that? Your lexical analyzer will initiate that. It generates symbol table form and manages all the symbols. And it keeps track of line numbers. Why? Because it should scan everything, right? So it keeps track of line numbers. If at all any error occurs in, uh, for example, if uh, it's scanning 100 lines of code, if at all any error occurs in 60th uh, lines of code, if it doesn't have uh, the tracking of line numbers, then how come it know uh, the where error occurred? Even it will be very easier for us. So if you see, if you execute any C program, if at all any, there are any errors, it sends an error message stating that in 60th line you have an error message. So it, uh, the job will be easier for us, right? So it keeps track of line numbers. And, and finally, the, uh, the uh, last one is it reports errors. So during uh, scanning of this string or the grouping of tokens, we may get some errors. So that uh, error should be reported, that error should be caught and error should be resolved. So these are the basic functions or major or important functions of lexical analysis. So uh, in my next video, we'll discuss about lexemes, strings, uh, what are lexemes and all. So first we should, uh, we should have a basic idea on lexical analyzer. Okay. So next important concept is input buffering. I hope you understood this video. So I request everyone to please subscribe to my channel and please share my videos to all your friends and well-wishers so that they can uh, get benefited uh, from our channel. So thank you. Thank you very much and have a nice day.